anyway, I'm really excited about this. The next, uh, the the thing that I just bought last night in a drunken stupor uh, when I was hanging out with Fred was the Oculus Rift. And I couldn't be more it's excited be for this so thing fun. to show up. The Oculus Rift, if you don't know what it is, it's it awesome. is the virtual reality product of the century. For year, for decades, people have been trying to create virtual reality that really puts you in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's failed, except the Oculus Rift. Um, what was that one Nintendo had? No, uh, Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy. Yeah, that was the closest I've ever. Yeah, seen. that's that's great. If you want it, like a like a, a a red version of the Matrix, eight. It was eight bit. I think it was fucking. It terrible. looked worse than eight bit. It looked like uh those. And you could only play like Mario Tennis on it, which was yeah, it was just Pong but three D. It literally looked like you were playing um asteroids on an Amiga. Yeah, it was <laughs> awful. It was terrible. The Oculus Rift, though, if you don't know what it is, g- Google it real quick. Check out a video. Um. I am really excited for this, not only because it's winter in Michigan and you can't leave the home without being completely so miserable. Um, I want to escape into roller coaster worlds and stuff like that. But I can also live out my fantasy of a tier two situation. You really can. I think. I mean, I'm guessing that there's got to be some sort of torture game, or maybe there's totally not a torture game. But I want to live out my. <laughs> thi- <laughs> I want to live out my sickest fantasy. In virtual reality, and just get lost in the blood of a human being that I'm just spilling for no reason. I really want to just cut out organs and have them watch. I need, you know, if you're a game developer and you have any experience actually making some sort of 3D games, um, contact me. Let's go in on this yeah, together let's have some fun. and let's make something that's newsworthy. Like, I want Fox News to cover this game and be like, this is the most horrific game. There literally is no point. Nobody wins with this game. You just ma- you just mercifully mer- yeah. kill people. Unmercifully. Unmercifully. It's going to be called Brian's Murder World. And it's going to feature me as the main character. And you can live vicariously through my eyes if Murder. you have the, the Oculus Rift. And it's literally, I want it to be like this. You select a character, not for yourself. This character you're selecting is your torture victim, and you have a wide ra- uh, a wide variety, uh, anywhere from an old lady to uh, a young man, and and uh, maybe a little baby. Oh, nice, a little baby, a little babe. Yeah, uh, and and anything in between. Maybe you create create your own character. Do you want to torture? Wouldn't that be great? It'd be a lot of fun. Maybe you have an enemy. This guy at the office. You fucking hate this guy. Enema. You can't do this in real life. You can't torture him. You know, that's your psychopath. But you want to get some frustrations out. You can create them in a virtual reality world to a T. It'll be fun. And then you can just strap them down to a table and hear his cries as you I would start love carving to do into. That. I want to lob off a boob of a fat man. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? I want to. I want to put little like pieces of C4 in his fat folds. Oh, and yeah. Then just blow them off. There's going like, to be a shit ton of weapons. Lobbing off a fat man's boob is kind of bittersweet for him. It's pure joy for the person doing it, but he's like, I want to get rid of that fat. Anyway, I don't want to be, I don't want to have, boobs. I am missing skin and bleeding, but uh, at least I don't have boobs anymore. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave one boob. and then feed him his own boob. Oh, that's got to be. Yeah. You got to unlock that though. And I, there's got to be a pain meter. Like, like cut off his toes and feed yeah. his toes. You know what I like uh, about the movie Law Abiding Citizen? I never saw it. Oh, you should. Because it literally is what I've been. It's tier two. In that movie, they do tier two, but they don't show it really. They uh, cut away and then it's just that's like. not fun. You find his mangle. That's not fun at all. No. I want to be like in depth in there. You know, it's got to be like the most graphic, horrific imagery. You know, we ever. have a movie camera. We can do this now. Yeah, but it's going to be real hard to find somebody that's good enough to make realistic prosthetics that we can carve into and pull bones out. I know a guy. <laughs> Do you? I feel like you would. Some sort of special effects artist. No, no, I, he just kidnaps bums and then we torture them. Oh, okay. So it's like the guy, it's the Russian kid. Okay. Yeah, and then we, we have a bag. Can we start Yellow bag snuff- with a hammer can in it. Can we start it. making snuff films? That's where it's getting to. <laughs> We're literally just going to start making a living making snuff we, films. Uh, we played too much uh, ocular. <laughs> and Oculus, then we can Oculus plead insanity Rare. due to ocular. Uh, Oculus we Rare. could sue them. Yeah. 
Well, we're going to sue the hell out of Oculus Rift because they made it real for us. I didn't. Yeah. I can't. I can't I distinguish uh, reality what's real between and what's not yeah, anymore. Exactly. That's our defense. That's our defense right there. The problem this could be that. Oculus Rift right now. This courtroom. It could be. I don't know. I don't know the difference. It's so know. realistic. They did a really good job. But I need all their money, and I'm not. Well, it's not. I guess it's going to be more of we're suing them. Be, well, no, we're we're not suing them. The victims' families get, would sue them. Yes, we would use them as a scapegoat to get out of murder. Yes, Greg would be our lawyer. I feel like he he would that, do a terrible job. Is, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he would do an awful job of saving. He'd us. be like, I, you know, we're friends and stuff, but I, I can't morally do this. <laughs> you, <laughs> you and I are just laughing. You and I are just <laughs> laughing. But imagine that, and then you have a selection of weapons that you can choose, and it's you, there's there's a, a solder gun or Ooh, a, sod, a soldering iron. iron, yeah, that you can poke their eyes out with. Wouldn't that be great? Razor blade. I want a simple razor blade. Yeah, just a razor blade. I could have hours of fun with that. Exactly. Each, and then you you start out with just the razor blade, and then you can unlock other weapons. And I really want Fox News to cover this. Ice pick. Ice pick. Um, a fucking bone saw. I want something that's not even a... Can you waterboard people one. in this game? Oh, absolutely. You have... You, yeah, yes. Because you start with the mild... Yeah, torture. The mild torture. Because Okay, this is what I imagine. There's a pain meter. There is a, um, <laughs> a mental distress meter. <laughs> and the goal of the game is... <laughs> to break their will to live before you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go develop this video game. <laughs> and then and then I want you to be able to unlock their family members. <laughs> and you can do the same you, they have to watch. That's that's the trick. That's how you get their meat their their Like uh, Greg's old fun house house? Yeah, yeah, pretty much like that. I want I, I want to have um Let's see, an Indian man that I'm going to torture, and he adopted a, a white girl for some reason in my fantasy right here. I don't know why. <laughs> and the white dog, she's maybe six years old, but he has to witness me uh, diarrhea in her mouth all over her face. And she's crying, and he's crying and saying, kill me, let her go. And then I just slit her throat. <laughs> this is no, no, this no. is crazy. But now I'm getting my mind <laughs> right. There's now, something liberating. Is there, is there like... Is there a mode where, like, with the with the dying and then the will to live, mm -hmm. of just like no other real torture of just straight like tying making their jaw wired open? Yes, and just diarrheaing in their mouth in their mouth while they're choking on your diarrhea, but it just keeps coming out of your ass. And the where does the will to live just drop? Like, like because you're like I'm suffocating on another man's diarrhea, like. I want that, and then once his entire mouth is full and he's gasping for air, uh, you start punching him in the face, <laughs> and then it starts splashing out of his mouth, and then you're grossed out. You're like, you sick you start fuck. Throwing up you in his sick mouth. fuck. You're getting my diarrhea from your mouth into, onto my hands, you asshole. And that's when you start puke. Yeah, you puke on his eyelids. His eyes are closed, but you know they're going to open eventually. Oh! Especially oh, when he hears the no, cries of his newborn. Just board. wet, awful diarrhea. Put it in a syringe and put it in his eyeball. Oh, just a syringe of diarrhea. Putox in injections. <laughs> <laughs> that is the secret weapon that you have Holy to unlock. Holy shit. That is the most disturbed thing I've ever thought of. <laughs> Putox injections. How did that man go blind? He was injected with, with poo. his own poo. With poo poo. Poopy. I want to force him to poo. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a vacuum cleaner that you can ho hook up to his bunghole and just slurp it all out. And just then, just put things in his dick hole. I want to remove the arm of his wife and replace it with his leg. <laughs> just sever his leg, and then you just swap limbs. The will to live. The will to live. That's the best part of the game. Yeah. Pain Breaking eater, their will. will and then to live. You have the option to let them go. After all their family is dead, and that's that's the the will to live is done. That's when you really win, because then they got to go out the rest of their lives, and you can watch them day to day trying to live out their. This game job is very elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like The Sims, but for psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine doing. I want to play this game so bad. Somebody, it's, one of our listeners, has got to be some sort of game developer, right? Can we just? 
I would love to just in the game, just because it would be so tedious and miserably painful. Cutting somebody like a like all the way to their bone, all yeah. the way around their legs, and like pulling their skin out, but do it with a plastic fork. <laughs> yeah, that would be much more painful too. Oh my god! Because it's starting to snap a little bit, and you're really too, oh. you have to sharpen it maybe on the the edge of the concrete on the underneath the floor there. This is the greatest. All, the, I don't even play video games. This is all I want. You'd to play. play this. I would all. It's I want to play it right now. You would die in three days because you wouldn't eat anymore. You would just be living your life in this dungeon room where you're torturing virtual people. Can we high five each other in the game? Like, can we? Both oh, there's going to be, be multiplayer, time? and the only reason there's multiplayer is to high five your friend. Just so you and I can play. <laughs> yeah. It's it's only allowed you and me on multiplayer. <laughs> You've made me this person. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. I'm well aware of that. Every day I'm at work, I think of ways that I could kill my bosses and get away with it. I think... Like, I just... And I that's what that's I think more about. normal than we think. I think everyone no, has like, those sort of... some torture well, ways. Yeah. I mean, is there any other way to think... It's but, not even that I dislike him. I just think it would be fun. Anyone that says, like, well, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. I, yes, I would. Well, then uh, you're either lying or you're a big idiot because your worst enemy, is wishing if you're real, me. if he's really your worst enemy, he is absolutely going to turn around and do it to you. So Wait. why don't you do it to him first? Virtually, using the Oculus Rift in the new game, Brian's, what did I call it? I don't remember. Brian's something. Brian's murder world. Or <laughs> Brian's torture world. Or the will to live. I kind of. Like I like that. will to live. That's ominous, right? I like that. I want to stab. I feel like this game would get some sort of weird game rating that we've never seen before. Oh, yeah. And you'd have to be like 18 or older to buy it. Instead, of, I feel like it would sell so many games. Oh, because it would it'd be newsworthy. If anyone is a game developer and they want to make a million fucking dollars, come, come to me. We will figure this we'll out. We'll write the story. We'll write the story. We'll figure everything out. We'll even so do voice acting for it. And we will make this the best gruesome game the ever. The most legendary game ever yes. made. It's going to be what Deep Throat was to porn, but for the gaming industry. Or that, or either that or the government will like lock down games. I feel like, the, gover I feel like the government would we'll shut step this game down. Yeah, I mean, they have like the uh, MA8, or what is it? What's the game rating? MPAA or something like that? Yeah, uh, no, that's for the movies. Yeah. But there's the gaming rating, and yeah. then there's the adults only one. And then we'd get a rating of like MO. Not suitable for anybody. Mutants only, or... <laughs> I really like this. My my brain's going wild with it. And and it's perfect for people like you and me living in Michigan. Oh, yeah. People in Michigan, they think a little bit different. Oh, I would love to frostbite somebody's arm. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, we can live out our fantasies of, uh, what's that movie? The Men Behind the Sun, where you can just have some woman. Yeah. Have some woman. You frostbite her arms. And then you sit as... as scientists are watching you you put her hands in the boiling hot water and then you just slip her skin and muscle off like a glove and then she just has skeleton hands because there's nothing better as back scratchers from an asian woman when she has no skin on her and hands. then she turns into a tree we'll figure out something with that but let's leave that until later. those are all add-ons yeah that, that's those the dlc expansion <laughs> Oh, wow. please, I really want to do this. I mean, there's no better uh, frustration release. Than I'm so excited. Torturing some. And I want really see. Uh, I want. I devote the next couple of years of my life to putting this game together. Yeah. Seriously, I, I will learn how to do all this just to make this yep. game. I want, I want this, it to be so realistic that you can see the tears and the pores in their skin filled, with my, filled with my poopy. <laughs> I want them to cry, and then I want to feed their tears to to homeless people I would that are love, thirsty. Just, I want to inject people with things that shouldn't be in their bloodstream. Yeah, like melted metal. We'll figure out a way. Urine, U urine, um, poop water, uh, 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 mer mercury, <laughs> street mercury. <laughs> oh, what if they turned into Silver Surfer? I feel like that's, uh, that's a big boring. backfire. Um, anyway, I'm really excited about the Oculus Rift. And maybe I'm going a little far fetched, but you know what? The first thing I thought of, besides the roller coaster thing that you see on YouTube, yeah. is only, what about porn? Oculus, Oculus Prime. What is it called? Or Oculus Rift. What did you call it? <laughs> Oculus, Oculus Prime? Prime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a transformer. I know. Uh, oh, you got the cuckoo clock going. I'm trying to. 
Can you mod that thing to, to just puke every time it comes out? <laughs> I'm done with the sound. I just need it to like have a little vomit come out of its mouth. It wasn't working. Bloody yeah, I got vomit. It working again. Well, you just got to pull the thing and then and then, then yes, yeah, the thing. Yeah, that thing is full of dead souls. <laughs> 